707ED is an MFM patient. She's a Gravit of 4, para 3003. She's at 37 weeks, uh, 37 and 1 seventh week today. Basically, she was admitted last night. Um, was she? Was she an induction? She was an induction she was last week. Induction last week, that's right. She was the one who was uh, scheduled induction last week, did not go into labor, and was sent home. Yeah, and it will be the theme of tonight, too. <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, good job. Okay. Thank you. What do you think? How's she doing? I think she's doing great. I think she's doing great. It's not easy to, to get to seven or eight centimeters dilated with, you know, some pain, but well controlled. The baby looks beautiful and you're, you're comfortable. Are you handling the contractions okay, Kim? Yeah. yeah. The contractions and the uh, heartbeat of the baby. That, that's what you're looking at over there? Yeah, the green lines are contractions and the blue lines the baby's heartbeat. You can press that space bar and the thing will come up. So what they do is they give you the epidural, they test to make sure it's okay, and then they take your blood pressure a whole lot. And then what they'll do for a little while is they'll put you on the fetal monitor so they can see if the baby's okay and if you're still getting contractions. Nice thing about an epidural, you know what? You might go to sleep now, all right? You won't even feel that contraction. And we'll be looking at the monitor saying, you're getting one, push. There it is. Here you go, Kel. You're gonna have a. You're having. You're going now. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. All right. You're at the top of it now. Okay, we're up there. It's going down. It's all right, baby. All right, you got through another one. See, you're doing good, Kel. Continuous electronic fetal monitoring is everywhere in my universe. The advantage of it is that it provides a permanent record of the fetal heart tracing and the contraction pattern, and it has been established as the way to monitor fetal well-being in labor. Okay, and prep room one. The other thing is it has allowed nurses and doctors to care for multiple patients at the same time. It is easier to monitor two patients from standing outside the room than running into one room, running into another room. And the reality is most hospitals today cannot afford one-on-one -on -one nursing. In high-risk patients, it definitely improves fetal outcome. There's no doubt about that. But we all agree that there is some controversy about how you interpret some of the things that you see on it. In low-risk patients, it increases the, um, the rate of probably unnecessary C-sections. And the data says that it does not make a difference in the outcome of the baby. After continuous fetal monitoring was introduced, C-section rates started to go up quite dramatically. And the other thing that also went up quite dramatically is the rate of suit. I think that many physicians are afraid to practice medicine without having that continuous fetal monitor strip there um, because, that, uh, because there is not a way to defend yourself um, should, you, should malpractice be alleged against you. The legal considerations influence the way that you practice medicine. It makes us change the type of practice that we would normally offer and that practice presumably is based on what the data, your experience, your judgment tells you to do. I can't tell you whether they're doing okay or not. And you can imagine the impact of having been accused formally of committing wanton disregard for the welfare of a fetus. I mean, everything we do is directed at the welfare of infants, the welfare of women. And so to be accused in that language and then to say, but don't take this personally, well, of course you take it personally because it is your identity. Take a nice deep breath in mm -hmm. and bear down. Push, two, three, come on, a little more, you've got more. Seven, eight. To me, a nice birth is a birth where I know the patient and she knows me. Um, and um, there are not risk factors that make us concerned. So you can sort of focus on some of the other non-medical things going on some of the emotional issues that go on in the experience of some of the joy.
although the medicine is always in the back of your head, and that's why you're there. Two, down, three, down, four, straight down. Good. Almost home. Come on, push, push, push. Get to meet your baby okay. soon. Come on, push, 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 push. Okay, just keep it up. Perfect. Right. Right. No nice problem. job. Great job. Oh, 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 here comes oh, your baby. Look down, oh, honey. Look down, oh, honey. Oh, Look down. Oh, what a big oh, head. Oh, oh my God. Happy birthday. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Great job, Soelli. Little molded, huh? See him right. Uh, I'll tell you okay. what, can I take him over to the corner? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to dry him off and put his footprints on, or get his footprints done. Look at all that hair. Isn't that 